hi guys welcome back to my happy kitchen today we are going to be making pina colada the almighty pina colada so i got a few requests over on facebook uh, to show how pina colada is made so this is just my way and it works perfectly fine so please uh watch until the end because i'm going to be throwing in some tips and tricks along the way all right so first of all as usual you need um to use your mixer or a just a bowl and a mwiko so one cup of margarine and then go ahead and add in one and a half cups of sugar or just one cup of sugar according to your preference so give it a very good mix on medium low speed and let it continue mixing so while that is mixing go ahead and sieve your flour i use self-rising flour three cups of that and then add in a little bit of baking powder to just give it a lift okay to get that extra height so three cups of self-rising flour and um um, half a teaspoon of baking powder three of those okay so go ahead and save your flour just to remove any lumps that may be available so uh, your margarine and sugar are now well combined make sure you just scrape your sides of the bowl and at the bottom so that we don't have any sugar particles so after that continue mixing for a few more seconds then now add in your eggs okay you need four eggs are uh, medium sized but if the eggs are too large you just use uh, uh, three of them okay so if i may say uh pina colada can also be a sponge cake i tried it as a sponge cake but it just doesn't give uh the results that i wanted so this is how i make it and it works perfectly fine it's good for you to eat at home or for your clients so add in your eggs one by one okay one after the other give it a good mix then now add in your flavors the flavors are coconut and pineapple pina colada means pineapple and coconut so add in one tablespoon of coconut flavor one tablespoon of pineapple flavor and a little bit of a uh, yellow food coloring just a pinch so that it can have that little bit of color then continue mixing so that everything is combined the flavors and all that stuff and then now on the side go ahead and measure half a cup of light coconut milk okay so here you can combine a li you can combine a little bit of the coconut milk and a little bit of pineapple juice but i don't do that just one cup of a uh, half a cup of coconut milk is all right then now add in the flour that you've sieved yourself raising flour add it in there in batches okay add one batch and then the other and then the other alternating with the coconut milk so add in your flour and then add in your coconut milk mix a little bit on low speed here i just as uh, speed up the clip but just make sure you mix on low speed so put your flour and your coconut milk until until everything is well combined then stop now add in your fresh fruit so you need to add a little bit of pineapple okay just some pieces it just depends on how many you want so i will uh, go ahead add in your pineapples and then you also need a little bit of desiccated coconut okay i eyeball mine but i think a quarter cup is all right if you're going to make a kg or half okay so add in fresh pineapples and a desiccated um coconut okay don't skip this part it's very crucial if you want to have that uh, taste of pina colada then go ahead line in your uh, line or spray your baking tin then transfer your cake butter into your baking tin and bake at a hundred and um bake at 180 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes basically an hour keep checking after the 45 minutes and your cake will be good to go the aroma is absolutely amazing the cake is just out of this world guys so let it cool uh, for around one hour or you can refrigerate overnight so that you decorate the next day so while decorating you need to put a pineapple filling in between the layers so i did not insert that clip here because the video would have been too long but if you're interested um to see how i make my pineapple filling uh for this pina colada let me know in the comment section down below but you need to uh, put the pineapple filling and the coconut in between the layers as you decorate okay so that when someone has a bite of the cake itself they also have a bite of the filling i don't know if i'm making sense so that's it it's as easy as that i know it may seem complicated but it's actually not it's a very nice and just very forward recipe if you just do it a few times and the, uh, there you go guys so please give it a try don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and please don't skip the ads if you have any question you can hit me up on on facebook or you can just leave me a comment down below okay remember you can also make it as a sponge cake 
uh, according to your preference but i actually don't prefer it as a sponge cake i think this way it works perfectly fine either for business or for personal use it's amazing this one was one kg so if you want